Hi guys, it's me Nicole. With me as always is Mabel and today we're going to trim some nails. I have some septic powder with you just in case. This is like a yellow granular uh, substance. It can harden up on you, but you can just kind of crumble it apart. If you don't have this, you can use baking powder. Also works really good um, in case you hit it quick and you need to stop any bleeding. You'll want to have this on hand. And then uh, some appropriate size nail clippers. Mabel's only about 25 pounds, and so I like to use these smaller ones um, by Miller's Forge. I really like them. And then you can also get this uh, plier style. This is for a larger dog, uh, I'd say anything over 30 pounds. I've got Mabel up on her table, and so that's doing that thing where it's changing um, something in her brain. Whenever they go up on an elevated surface, something clicks. And so if you struggle to trim your dog's nails while they're on the floor or on the couch or in their bed, um, then go ahead and put them on an elevated surface. You don't have to have a grooming table. In my other videos, I have her up on a room counter and I have, you know, a $5 non-slip rug that I picked up in the bath department. Um, that works great. Just anything to kind of click their mind into a different mindset. Uh, that raised position works really well for that. Okay guys, let's take a close up look at the nails. I'm kind of lucky, she has black nails, but you can see that pink quick. And that's what you want to pay attention to on your dog's nails. You can see how far it extends right there. You want to make sure that you don't hit that with the clippers. If you do, that's where you're going to need that septic powder to stop any bleeding that may occur. Um, so take a little time, try to look at your dog's nails, and proceed with caution. Just do the tips if that's what you feel comfortable with. There's no reason to try to trim your dog's nails as short as possible when it's much safer to just do the tips of the nails, you know, once a week um, can help keep your dog's nails in healthy condition. I'm just kind of showing a close-up here of trimming the nail. Uh, Mabel's so good for it, but again, we've been doing this for a very long time, so. You can see I'm just taking the tip off. I'm taking barely anything off. And if you do that once a week, you can really get the quicks to recede back so you could take the nail shorter and shorter. In that last video, I had the foot bent backwards. Now I'm going to show you what it's like to trim the nail from the front. A little bit in the video I'm going to kind of go over positions on how to hold your dog's foot and or leg to make them more comfortable. Again you can see that pink goes almost to the tip of her nail so I'm just going to take the tips off. Now you can see that black dot in the middle that is the quick so if I would have taken any more off I may have had a little bit of bleeding. When you're trimming a dog's nails you want to make sure that they're okay with being held. Their paws are okay being held. If they're not, then you might want to stick to going to a professional until you at home can hold on to their feet um, without any issue. Because you need to take your time whenever you're trimming nails. Um, if you quick them too badly, you may not be able to stop the bleeding with a septic powder. And we don't want anything like that to happen. And we also want nail trimming to be a positive experience just like with all the other grooming that we do, we want the dogs to at least tolerate it. Most dogs um, may not enjoy getting their mani cutty, but you can make it a tolerable experience for them. Front nails, you can trim them uh, one of two ways is generally what I like. I'll either hold the paw out towards me and kind of push back her hair and trim the nails like that, or you can step around behind them and you can lift their foot and turn it back towards themselves. Again, like you can play with both these positions and see which one your dog likes more. Um, Mabel's really cool with both and so that's because she's been getting them trimmed since she was like three weeks old, I think. The breeder started doing it. So, so anyway, if you're going to do it like this, you're just gonna make sure to try to keep that paw in a natural position. Don't pull the arm out. Right, dogs don't have that motion. They've only got this motion and then um, bending, bending back like that. Um, so 
Anyway, both those positions work well for the front leg. And then for the back leg, um, again, you don't want to swing out too wide unless you have a woodle, right? They like to sploot. <laughs> Um, but you don't want to swing out too wide to make it uncomfortable for them. And so again, you can either keep the foot forward and pull the hair back and trim like this, or you can go backwards and, and trim like that. If you go to hang on to the foot um, and they're just like jerking, 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 just take your time. You know, if you notice what I did was I came down the spine, I petted, and then I came down the leg. I didn't just reach in and grab the foot. Give them a little massage up here. Make them feel relaxed, okay? We got a little bit of yawning here. Um, and that could be from anxiety or that could be from relaxed. Judging on the rest of her posture, her tail's just kind of hanging and her ears are kind of hanging, she's relaxed. And that's why uh, she did that yawn there. And so again, you just kind of take your time and grab the foot gently and maybe you can only get one nail done and then you have to start again and do the massage again. Make this a relaxed environment for your dog. Don't rush, just take your time doing it. Uh, you don't want them to get hurt and again, you want them to enjoy it. Um, one of the tricks that I like to use is to have a partner in crime, right? Stand at the other end of the table and either feed them a really delectable treat that they only get during grooming or possibly a spoonful of peanut butter, just a little bit of peanut butter at a time and let them lick on that spoon while you're trimming the nails. And again, don't be rushed, just do one nail at a time. Monday you get right front foot done and then Wednesday you get left front foot done. Um, just take your time doing it. I know I keep saying that, but take your time and it will be a very good experience for you and your dog and save you some money also. Huh. Yes, my girl. Thanks for tuning in guys. We'll see you next week.